the PSSE Disciplinary Committee recently imposed heavy fines for Abdul Haris, the head organizer of Arema FC's match at the Kanjuruhan Stadium, which led to a tragedy that claimed 125 lives. He has been barred from being active in Indonesian football in any capacity for life. The decision was made since he was deemed to have failed in preventing the incident, which ended in a riot. Aside from that, the committee also fined Arema FC the amount of 250 million rupees. Furthermore, the club has been barred from playing matches at the Kanjuruhan Stadium and will need to play in a venue located 250 kilometers from Malang until the end of the season. The PSSE investigation team also found that the organizers of the match and the related football club were negligent in time management when they chose to conduct the match in the evening. Memang ada usulan perubahan dari Persibaya kepada Panpel. Panpel menjawab kepada Badan Liga. LIB datang ke Polres untuk berunding mengenai jadwal dan sebagainya. Dan akhirnya, itu, itu proses ya, tapi akhirnya keluar rekomendasi pertandingan tanggal 1 jam 8 malam dari kepolisian juga. Jadi pertandingan ini nggak mungkin dilaksanakan tanpa ada rekomendasi dari kepolisian setempat. The Kanjuruhan Stadium tragedy took place on October 1st, moments after the Liga Satu match between Arema FC and Persebaya concluded. Fans of the home team could not accept the reality that Arema FC lost to Persebaya, their arch rivals with a score of 2-3. The police then took action and blocked supporters for escorting players to the locker room. Authorities then fired tear gas in an effort to disperse the enraged fans. Aside from the pitch, authorities also fired tear gas to the stands, which sparked panic among the fans. It led to the deaths of 125 people, including two police officers, and injured 180 others. See today contributor reporting from Malang, East Java.